Hello friends, this is Abhishek coming with the 8th tutorial for the PHP. In last uh, tutorial, uh, we have seen how we can manage the function in PHP. How we can pass the parameters, how we can get a value from the functions, etc. etc. Okay, today we are gonna use uh, some more uh, different functions. Just like uh, how we can pass a default parameter to the function. Uh, how we can use the recursive function uh, how we can get uh, multiple values uh, in an array format okay after that uh, how we can use a built-in functions that is where underscore dump after that uh, where underscore export and is set function okay these are f these are the functions today we're gonna see okay let's start with the default parameter okay uh, I'll not explain before before I implement that functions so you can get easily you easily understood okay yeah function default value okay I have a parameter called dollar a and I'm assigning a default value to this and the default value is myself okay after that echo the value in dollar a dollar a okay now i am calling that function default value okay whenever uh, i hope you guys uh, know how we can call the functions if we have a parameter in functions then we have to pass it compulsory okay but here i am not passing a value to the parameter i am just executing it see the result oops actually we have used dollar a here so i am just using a a okay the value is a bishay okay but here i haven't passed any value to the parameter so it will take the default value suppose i am passing a value to this function scott now see what happens that means the default value is over overrated with a past value that means Scott okay I hope you guys have understood the default function okay okay now move to next and the next is recursive functions I hope you guys also know about the recursive functions it's very simple calling to the self okay that means suppose i have a uh, created a function and that function is calling itself to the particular point okay that means just like a loop but we didn't use any loop in this function we uh, we do not use any loop in the in this functions so let's create a recursive function function recursive dollar number okay after that uh, we will check if dollar number is greater than zero okay oops sorry less than less than is equals to 1 okay if the value is less than is equal to 1 then uh, we will return only 1 okay after that uh, we will calculate a factorial number okay so I have to use return after that uh, dollar number i hope the uh, factorial means you know about factorial number that means suppose user have passed 5 then 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 is equals to whatever the result that is called factorial of a 5 okay so i have to multiply by recursive function and i am passing a dollar number by minus 1 okay see 
the suppose I'm passing a number five okay the condition is false so come here return five into number five into one it's a four that means five into four twenty uh, uh, and calling uh, itself okay now we will call this function records you I'm passing a five value so we'll get dollar factorial and I'm printing that factorial echo factorial plus dollar fact sorry use dot it's a 120 okay uh, if I pass zero then the factory real is one okay we have to set to zero and uh, less than or equals to one okay and suppose I am passing one then the factory is also sorry okay we have to add one more conditions if the value is zero then we have to pass a zero because uh, whenever we multiply by zero the value is also zero okay but I hope you guys have understood you guys have understood the recursive function the concept of rec recursive function okay yeah now move to the next point that is the uh, return array to the multiple values okay that's why we have to use a print array print our function okay return array to function okay I'm creating a function here my array and uh, I have a array is equals to array one comma two three comma hello world okay and I am returning return dollar a r r okay now I am calling print underscore r bracket my array okay let's see what is the output for this function and uh, we will use break tag see the array is zero position for one first position for three second position for hello and third positions is word okay i hope you guys have understood the use of print underscore r function this is the built-in functions in php after that we use a dump function okay this is also little bit information it will provide about your variables declared okay uh, use of where underscore dump function function use of dump dollar a is equals to hello world dollar b is equals to 20 now where underscore dump dollar a okay and after that I'll call use of dump function let's check what happened and uh, I'll also break a line over here see 
see it will throws the information about your string that means 11 characters h 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and 11 okay now i'll also print where underscore dump and dollar b okay integer 20 okay that means the value is integer and assigns the 20 and i'm also use a variable c is equals to 20.5 so now see what happens where underscore dump dollar c fact 20 okay uh, see the value of a float that is integer 20 and a float is 20.5 uh, is float okay after that uh, we have used the dump now we're gonna use the export values okay the export values provides you the informations in a parser proper in proper format just like C uh, suppose I have an array this one okay and uh, I'm using a where underscore export and I'm passing an array in this okay after that just play this echo br oops i think we have to paste in this index values it's right but uh, I think there is some problem where export okay I have to take it into the variable I'm just uh, using this and after that echo dollar aa I think there is some mistake anywhere array export dollar arr suppose i am using another variable ara okay just a minute sorry friends we have changed in other file so here is dollar aa r is equals to array hello world and php okay after that i'm using a var underscore export and dollar a r r now just implement this it's providing a null okay i think there is some mistake This is the proper answer array 0 that is first first that is php that means it provides a proper uh, format just like a print r function okay you we have to pass a value into the print r functions but here we can also pass the value to the uh, built-in where export function okay after next is set is set provides the value into the true or false whether uh, it checks the value is in objects is available or not if the value is null then it returns a false if the value is available then it returns true just check it uh, suppose I have a variable called dollar h is equals to null I'm assigning a value null sorry blank 
okay after that if is set dollar h then uh, echo br true else echo false let's check what happens it's true that means we have assigned value and uh, suppose i am using a dollar h directly what happens it's false that means there is not any variable like dot h or it's a null that's why it becomes false okay i hope you guys have understood all these points the default parameter the recursive function the return value to the get multiple sorry the array into the multiple values by using a print r function after that var dump which provides the detailed information about your variables var export it provides the uh, formatted uh, formatted values and it is set it checks the whether the your uh, object is null or not okay uh, thank you for watching please subscribe my videos this is abhishek signing out thank you bye bye